challenging Jalen for best suit on NBA Countdown for a seven-footer to be that fitted, okay? It takes a lot of special talent, but I love it. It, it matches the USC colors. And Evan, let's start with you actually leading your team to an Elite Eight appearance. It was the first time since 2001 that USC had been there. So what did you learn during the tournament run? Um, it was just amazing uh, process to go through. Um, it was during the COVID time, so it was, it was just a little different. Um, I got to spend that time with my uh, family, Isaiah, and um, my, my dad, he's assistant coach. Um, it was just an amazing experience to uh, spend that time with my uh, family. Evan, how would you describe your game to people who haven't gotten a chance to see you play yet? Um, I feel like I'm a, a, a big that is very versatile, can space the floor, spread the floor. Um, I'm very agile. Um, whenever a big is uh, bigger than me, I can use my speed and agility to go around them and also uh, my outside range. And um, I just feel like I'm a versatile big. Evan, speaking of those comparisons, I've heard some people say that you're like a Chris Bosh or like your fellow USC alum, Bam Adebayo. If you had to describe your game and compare it to someone, obviously other than yourself, who would that be? Um, I don't really like to compare too much. Uh, I like to uh, just be my, the best I can be. Um, so I just focus on my, my game. Uh, I take bits and pieces from uh, different people, but uh, I just like to focus on my game and be the best player I can be. I love that, Evan. No comparisons necessary. Okay, like you were the Pac-12 Player of the Year, the Defensive Player of the Year, and the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year. The last time we saw that happen in a major conference, mm. Anthony Davis was able to pull that off. And yeah. since we're not comparing anyone, I'm not going to ask you to compare yourself <laughs> to AD. Uh, but what have you been working on in your game as you prepare for the next level? Uh, during the pre-draft, uh, we've been doing a lot of conditioning, um, shooting, and uh, pick and roll um, concepts and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, a lot of shooting and uh, pick and roll concepts, um, that, that's like the main focus during the workouts. And if you obviously have the size, you have the length, you have the dexterity, you have the athletic ability. What do you think your most difficult adjustment will be at the next level? Um, I feel like I have a pretty good uh, defensive presence. Um, I'm, I'm working to uh, work on that and hopefully bring it to an elite level. Um, that's something that um, I'm going to be working on. He also going to be working on keeping people out of his pocket. He's rich now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's already fitted. Evan, thank you so much for joining us. Come from a basketball family. Dad played in college. Mom won a state championship. You played with your brother. It's going to be fun to see you on the next level. Thank you. Congrats, Evan. All right. Meanwhile, we're yeah. waiting for the NBA draft lottery to get started right here on ESPN. And obviously, 14 teams are going to find out exactly where they'll be picking in the 2021 draft. And guess what? We got some special guests that are going to be there representing it their squad. It was all a dream. It was Just all a dream. dream. Number one pick in 1984, Akeem Olajuwon. Meanwhile, Miles Bridget, he's representing the Hornets. Hey. Hey, Miles. Quit town, stand up. <laughs> and since we're talking about the Hawks, oh, we weren't? Never mind. Let's just talk about a Georgia native, Anthony Edwards. He's representing the T-Wolves, the number one overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft and second in Rookie of the Year voting this season. And probably the dunk of the year going baseline. Absolutely. To the